Hey, what's going on guys? I just recently got some new strings for my ukulele. Uh, these are both concert size ukuleles, so they're the exact same size. And uh, I actually got these low G string. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what I think the difference is and uh, show you some comparisons if you guys are curious if you want a low G string ukulele. Yeah. Uh, let's go! Huh? Oh. Okay, so this is just a standard tuning GCEA high G ukulele. This is what normal ukuleles are tuned at and the normal strings they have. High G. And then, on the other hand, we have these low G string, which is just this top one, is lower, but the rest is all tuned exactly the same as the other one. It's still GCEA, but this top string is just a low G. So it sounds more like a guitar when you play instead of a ukulele, if that makes sense. So uh, these are the Lava Aquila ones, so they have a kind of grayish colored bottom string and then the top one is white but it is wound so that means it's like a guitar string so it's wound and has that metal wound around it but yeah I'll do some comparisons and uh, you guys let me know what you think and uh, do you like high G or low G better? All right so here's the low G and then here's the high G So the Adventure Time theme song is one that a lot of people know. Now let's hear it on the low G. Which one sounds better to you? Do you like the more bass percussion to it? Or do you like having it this just light, pleasant, normal ukulele sound? It's really just what you prefer because all the chords are still the same. You still play this as C, this is still the C. This G is just lower, so it gives a little, little more bass. And it's kind of hard to tell the difference unless you've been playing ukulele for a little while. You just, you just hear slightly deeper when you strum. So for instance, my song Two-Headed Creature would sound like this normally. I'll go back and forth so you guys can compare, but uh, I'll just play Two-Headed Creature and then I'll switch from high G and low G midway through. So here we go. So that was just a quick little comparison showing you guys the difference between low G and high G ukulele strings. Just in case you are kind of mixed up in the middle or you're looking at getting new strings and you're like, should I try the low G or should I stick with the high G? <laughs> it's really personal preference because some people just like this more bass kind of guitar soundy when you play. And then some people like the original high-pitched ukulele sound, so it's personal preference, but I hope this helped you guys kind of see the differences a little bit better. So yeah, see you later.